doctor, I'm not ready for marriage and family now. I have other priorities. I want to know my options. Doctor, I've been trying to get pregnant but not able to conceive easily. How do I know if my eggs are in good number and quality? My mom had an early menopause at 38 years. I want to know if I would be also having an early menopause. So the answer to all these questions is get your ovarian reserve tested. So hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anjali Kumar. I once again bring greetings to you from Maitri. Maitri is the space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. For those women who are thinking about getting pregnant now or later, do watch our fertility series. We have many interesting videos coming soon on this topic too. So what is an ovarian reserve? Ovarian reserve refers to the number and quality of eggs a woman has in her ovaries. Unlike men who produce new sperms continuously, women are born with all the eggs they will ever have. And this number naturally decreases over time. So why should you get your ovarian reserve tested? Number one is fertility planning. So if you are thinking about starting a family, understanding your ovarian reserve can help you and your doctor make right informed decisions. Secondly, egg freezing. So if you are not yet ready to have children right now, but want to preserve your fertility for the future, uh, ovarian reserve testing can help determine if you are a good candidate for egg freezing. Uh, once again, we did a dedicated video on egg freezing few months back. So if you want to understand the process of egg freezing in detail, please do watch that video. Third is in case you are going in for IVF, knowing your ovarian reserve can now help the doctor predict how your ovaries will respond to stimulation and what is the likely rate of success of IVF going to be. Fourth, for general health awareness. So even if you are not actively planning for children, testing your ovarian reserve can give you a valuable information about your reproductive health. How do we check your ovarian reserve? One of the best ways is to, to measure your ovarian reserve is through a blood test called anti mullerian hormone. It's called AMH. Uh, AMH is produced by small immature follicles in the ovaries. Now, these follicles are like bubbles in the ovaries, which house the eggs which are waiting to be matured and released during ovulation. So since AMH is produced by these follicles, the amount of AMH in your blood gives us a good estimate of your egg supply, the number and the quality both. Now, it is important to note that AMH does not fluctuate much throughout your menstrual cycle, which means that you can get the test done at any time of your cycle. So if your AMH level is less than one nanograms per ml, now this suggests that you could be having a low ovarian reserve. Now this does not mean that you can't get pregnant, but it might indicate that your egg supply is declining. And if you are planning to have children, it's a good idea to immediately consult a fertility specialist for advice. Supposing your report says that your levels are normal. So a level between 1 to 4 nanogram per ml is considered normal and suggests that your ovarian reserve is within the typical range for your age. If your report says that you have high AMH, so if your AMH levels are more than 4 nanograms per ml, now this could indicate high ovarian reserve. This is also common in younger women or those 
uh, with conditions like PCOS where the ovaries produce large number of follicles. So while high AMH generally suggests more eggs, PCOS can actually complicate fertility in other ways too. Now let's talk of another test which also can help us predict your ovarian reserve. This is known as FSH test, follicle stimulating hormone. This is a simple blood test and typically done on second or third day of your periods. High FSH levels indicate that your body is working harder, your pituitary is working harder to stimulate your ovaries which often means that you have lesser eggs left. So high FSH means low ovarian reserve and um, low FSH levels mean that your ovarian reserve is adequate. So ideally FSH levels should be below 10 milli international units per ml and if your FSH is above this, this could indicate a reduced ovarian reserve. Another test which can measure your ovarian reserve. Now this is called AFC test or antral follicle count. Now this is a test which is done using a transvaginal ultrasound. During this test, we count the small resting follicles in the ovaries. So these follicles are visible on the ultrasound and give us an, a good idea of how many eggs you may have in your ovary. A higher count means a better ovarian reserve while a lower count can indicate uh, reduced fertility potential. So day by day we are seeing more women coming to us with low AMH levels and high FSH levels. So this means that their ovarian reserve is getting lower so now let's understand why are women losing their eggs faster? Most important is lifestyle factor. So smoking, excessive alcohol uh, consumption, poor diet can negatively impact ovarian uh, health. Smoking in particular can damage ovarian follicles leading to a faster decline in egg count. So in case you are thinking of planning a pregnancy, there can't be a better reason than this to quit smoking. Of course, environmental toxins, exposure to toxins in everyday products, air pollution, uh, herbicides, pesticides in the food, uh, even in the food can accelerate the loss of eggs. These chemicals can disrupt your endocrine system, affecting the fertility. Stress. Now, the importance of stress cannot be overemphasized. Chronic stress can interfere with your hormonal balance, impacting your menstrual cycle and ovarian function. Over time, this can lead to faster depletion of ovarian reserve. Then medical conditions, you know, medical conditions like PCOS, autoimmune disorders and genetic factors also can speed up the egg loss. Additionally, women undergoing treatments like chemotherapy can also, even radiotherapy can significantly reduce the ovarian reserve. Premature menopause. Now, premature menopause is when a woman's ovaries stop functioning before the age of 40. Now, this could be caused by genetics, autoimmune diseases, medical treatments. In premature menopause, a woman's egg quality or egg supply is depleted much earlier than expected, making conception very difficult. So, can I do something to protect my eggs? While some factors like genetics and medical conditions are out of your control, there are steps which you can definitely take to protect your ovarian reserve. Most important is healthy lifestyle, eating a balanced diet, rich in antioxidants, which is fruits and vegetables, exercising regularly, avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol can help maintain the ovarian health. Manage stress. Practicing mindfulness, yoga and other stress-reducing activities can also help keep your hormones uh, in balance. And get yourself tested early. 
Consult a specialist, very important. So if you suspect premature menopause or if you have a family history of early menopause, consult a fertility specialist in time. They can guide you through treatment options or egg preservation techniques before the ovarian reserve depletes completely. So thank you for watching today. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your fertility and reproductive health. Let there be no surprises when you are ready to plan a pregnancy. Share this video with every young woman who's thinking of delaying her pregnancy or struggling to even get pregnant. For more information on your fertility, do watch our fertility series and do not forget to like and comment and I will see you soon.